What's up, Word Nerds? My name is Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Sunday, September 1st. In this video, I'll be playing Wordle Connections, the mini crossword, and strands. Let's go ahead and get started to see how I do today. As always, leave a comment on the video. Let me know how you did, and uh, leave a like as well. I really appreciate it. Uh, all right, here we go. Wordle, today's randomly selected starting word is the word dryer, like that. There we go. Let's put in dryer, see if it gets me anything. Two R's, so that's a little bit of a waste of a letter. Okay, let's go S T A. It's not stand. Stack. Let's go stack. There is an S in the word. Hmm. Okay. There's an S in the word. How about floss? We'll go with floss. Test out two S's. Okay. So there's no O. Wow, I'm I'm really lacking any information, but we are eliminating quite a bit of things. So the S has to go second or third. And the vowels that I have in here are just a U. Could be it could have a it could be like a U here and then ends in Y. I guess with the S here, so Bushy or Pushy? Mushy. Could it be all those things? Pushy. Let's go with pushy. Okay. Mushy or mushy? Probably mushy. Yeah, there we go. I was trying to think of like which one sounded the best to me. Like it was more likely to be the answer. I wonder how many of those are on the answer list. That was that was a little tough. But once I sort of worked out that we just had the U left, so the U probably goes second and it probably ends in Y. And then if that were the case, the S goes third. Like it looked like I had like no information after guess three, but really I was able to basically figure out. And not only that, with the U and the S and the Y placed where they are, uh, like what letter could possibly go forth? And uh, we've already eliminated like the K for like Usky or like Husky or something. Um, so, or the T, there's no T in there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it just made sense the H went there. So, no, but I was a little worried there that there was more than three, which I think there was more than three. Maybe there wasn't more than three. Either way, there was. I was definitely potentially in danger. Which, by the way, where is my streak at right now? 160. I have not been paying attention to where my streak is, but we are going up closer and closer to my max streak. So that is amazing. I'll have to keep that in mind. as the, So that should put us around uh, like 30-something days from now. So October... Mid, like early October, so I'll have to keep that in mind. So, uh, if we don't lose by then, <laughs> might lose, could easily lose. So, okay, uh, moving on, we got connections coming up. Let's go ahead and open up connections, switch over to that, and see what we got over there. So, all right, here we go. Connections, Sunday, September 1st. Let's get started, see what words we have today. We have. Charcoal hammer, golf bag, grill. So we got like charcoal grill. Limousine. Toolbox raven. Just things that are black. Well, limousines aren't always black, but raven, charcoal. Char. Oh, you got char and charcoal on here. Okay. Movie set. movie set what an interesting interesting well it's technically two words but it's like an interesting word here um movie set seems so specific i don't know 
Okay, so there's not like a movie category here. So like I'm assuming we got to figure out what is an attribute or a quality of a movie set. How does that relate to anything else? Hmm. You have a hammer and anvil on here. Okay, I don't know what sable means, so that might be a problem here. Golf bag, toolbox, things that just hold stuff in them. Limousines are known for being, I guess, long. Uh, uh, okay, um, yeah, I see that this one is going to be a very, very difficult one for me today. There's probably something I'm not understanding. Well, there's obviously four things I'm not understanding, four different categories, but, um... No, like, th there's usually, like, an easier category, so I always feel, whenever I don't see anything, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm not even getting the easy one. Um, okay. Um, the, the ear canal, parts of an ear, right, the canal, the hammer, the anvil, there's a hammer, right, in the ear, I think, uh, and then the drum, ear drum, there we go, oh my gosh, we might have had that as a category or something like that in connections before, like a long time ago, it would have been one of the earlier ones. Um, okay, there we go. Got one. Sorry, this is going to take me a long time, guys. I really do apologize, but I really need to, like, focus and think. <laughs> um, I really... <laughs> Oh man, I don't I I don't feel good about this one. Char. Char is that is that a verb for like when you're cooking something like you're grilling it so char like sear like you sear meat, grill, brown, you brown it. Is that really what it is? Yeah, that is what it is. Okay. Yeah, I was overlooking something very obvious there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and that was the easy one. Okay. Uh, but now we got two left. These ones are supposed to be harder. Um, Charcoal is really, really interesting. Things that are black. Charcoal. Jet black. Ravens are black. Limousines are black, but they don't have to be black. I don't know what sable is. I'm going to put in limousine. <laughs> I'm going to put in sable. 
Just a complete guess. That wait, there's shades of black. Raven is a shade of black? Obviously, ravens themselves are black, but. Okay. I didn't know there was a shade of black called Raven. Raven black or whatever. Okay. Well, and also, yeah, I just I've never seen the word sable before, so. Total guess. Golf bag, movie set, limousine, toolbox. Okay. Um, what do I think this last one is? Golf bag, movie set, limousine, toolbox. Um, golf bag is like, what in the world does that have to do with anything? I'm trying to, I'm also, I'm looking at the letters to see if there's like any sort of like weird spelling thing or I don't see anything though. Um... Golf bag. Man, what is golf bag? That is toolbox. Yeah, no. Wow. Yeah, this one is uh I, I don't get this one. Um I guess we'll just see what the answer is. Where you might find a driver. Driver. Okay, I understand the golf one. I understand the limousine one, obviously. Toolbox, okay. Movie set, a driver. I don't know what that's referring to. Okay, let me let me look up. Movie set driver. Let me just look that up, see if it gives me any information. A driver on a movie set is a member of the logistics department who transports people and equipment to and from set. Is that real? I, I'm, that is literally reading it from the, the AI thing on Google. Have you guys been, like, every time I type in something into Google now, there's, like, the AI thing that gives an overview. And it's like, okay, I don't know if I trust that all the time. Um, okay, yeah, no. I mean, the AI is literally just taking from, like, probably the top websites anyway, but, yeah. Um, so... Okay. Um, Sable. I'm gonna type in Sable, just because I'm not familiar with it. Hmm. It's like a dark brown or black color. I see. I mean, I might have heard of that before. I might have seen it, but like, I, I'm really not familiar with it. So, okay. Um, that was a very tough one for me today. Um, it felt a lot better. It took me a long time to get started, but I'm glad that eventually I got to seeing the ear parts and the the cooking one. So, okay. Well, there we go. All right. Now, moving on. Next game, we got the mini crossword. Let's go ahead and. Hop over there, so we'll go and do that. Just a reminder, if you guys would like to support the channel, you guys can do so on Patreon. Today I'll be uploading a Spelling Bee video of the past, like, four days, so go check that out if you guys are interested and you want to support the channel. So, okay, here we go. Mini crossword, Sunday, September 1st. Let's get started. See if I can solve it today. What spiders craft... Webs, total wower, a wower, not sure, pumpkin spice, order from Starbucks, assuming it's like a latte, 
I think it's a latte. I'm I'm guessing. Paperless party announcement. It says paperless. Paperless party announcement. Uh. Not sure what they're going for there. Discourage. Okay, if you're going to discourage something. Mm, I don't have the vocabulary there. <laughs> it's not it's not coming to me. Craft Spider style. Weave. Weave webs. All right, I like what they did there. Wipe out and face plant. Eat. Eat it? Is it just eat it? You eat it, right? Is that it? Flat topped landform. Uh, flat top. Topped. Um... Is it really going to be eat it? Hold on. This looks like it has to be a vowel here, but like it doesn't make sense. Unless it's like a U. Like three vowels in a row. That's what I'm looking at. So I might have messed up here. Take the helm. The helm? What's the helm again? Is this like steer? Is the helm like something you steer with? Evite? Is that like... Invite, but like, I don't know. Steer, I don't know if that's what helm means. It seems like it could be right. Ran as colors, ran as colors. Is this latte? It's got to be latte. Webs is right, weave is right. Eat it could be wrong. Wait, what's another word for this? If it's not eat it, it has to be right because, like. I think I've heard that before. But like I don't get what this is gonna be then. Three down. What craft what spiders craft, they have to be webs. Total wower. I guess the only way that you can have three vowels is, is, is if this is like butte. Butte. See, that's what was throwing me off, guys. Like, the whole time, I felt good about these answers. But, like, I was second-guessing it, thinking I had to have something wrong, because there's no way a word has three vowels in it like this. <laughs> but I guess it could be butte. So I'm assuming this is steer. I don't know exactly what the helm means or what it is. Ran as colors. Uh, like bled and then this would be deter and this is just evite evite is a made up word <laughs> okay but what is this butte I don't know if it's but or butte Okay, probably butte. <laughs> if they, it'd be interesting. Are these both pronounced butte, butte and butte? Then they got weave and webs on here. If that is, if that is how they're pronounced, that is uh, a genius uh, puzzle creation to have two things, to have two that go together and then another two that go together. Um, because weave and webs definitely.
go together. So, uh, yeah, I don't feel great about Evite, but once again, if you're creating one of these uh, mini crosswords, if you're the creator of it, it's very, very hard to get things to just fit together nicely. And sometimes you're kind of left over with one word that you don't you don't really feel great about having in the puzzle. But okay, I guess Evite. See, I was that's exactly what I was thinking about too. Was like some sort of like, like you know how like you have like a Facebook group, and it's like uh, you know a, a party or something going on, and like that's what I was imagining in my head. But I was like, what's the word for that? Like. <laughs> I didn't know if they would do something Facebook specific or or what they would do, but I was like email. Like I, I doubt it's, like, I doubt people like invite people to parties like literally through like emails. But I don't know. Um. Anyway, let's move on to final game, which is uh, filaments. If you guys saw that from what was it a couple of videos ago, uh, it's actually called strands, but. The other day, the mini crossword had uh, had one of the clues. One of the answers was strands, and the clue was filament. So we're just going to rename strands to filaments. So anyway, here we go. Strands. Uh, Sunday, September 1st. Let's get started. See what the theme is today. We got serve gingerly. Why is there a dash here? Why is that a question mark? Uh, I guess because you have the word gingerly, but they're probably putting an emphasis on the word ginger. So I don't I don't know what that would be though. Uh, maybe I don't. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I, even with that, even with knowing that, I don't think that I'm gonna understand this clue. So let's just try to let's try to get some words. Let's try to get some words here. <clears throat> oh, this might be hard. Hmm. Okay. No idea. Right off the bat, I have no idea here. I don't know why. I'm like looking up here at the top of this Y. I'm trying to like... Trying to like see if I could end a word with the Y. Which I probably can. I just don't see it. But then I like see I saw the C R and I was like, wait, could you make the word crayon here? But I don't think you can. Maybe you can. And then I realized that you could almost make the word color here. Although I know that it's C O L O R and I know you know, I know it might be confusing to people that spell it with a U. But uh so I saw that. I always think about that sort of thing. Like in games like this, like like especially like Wordle, where like you, you have a word like color, C O L O R, where it's like, well, not everybody spells like different countries, people from different countries spell things differently sometimes. So um I did think about it. I've thought about that before. But uh there's wife. We'll just put that put in that. Um, but no, I was trying to think of like maybe like ginger is like referring to like a color, like color, like <laughs> I don't know. I don't see any follow up to there. I don't think that you can actually put in the word color here, colors, but no, I don't think that really works. Hmm. 
Anyway, let's move on from that because I don't, I don't know. Let's move on from that. Um, yeah, give me a hint. Today's a hint day. Crab, crab. What is crab? Serve gingerly. So you're serving something as. Rain. Crab. What, okay, what am I looking for? A lobster? <laughs> uh, let's use another hint because I don't get it. Mayo? Moya, Moya, <laughs> apparently Moya. Crab and mayo, so these are, this is food we're talking about. What does gingerly have to do with serving something? So you're serving food, obviously, at like a restaurant. Uh, yeah, all right. I do not understand this. So let's look for other kinds of foods. Uh, rice, of course. Um, I don't know why. I, I don't understand how these things are connected to each other, but if we're just doing foods, I would just put in random foods I see. So, This is hard. I'm I'm already like uh I'm already sort of I'm kind of not interested in really doing this one right now. Yeah, I'm not really interested in finishing this. Let's just use hints. Um avocado. I didn't see that. Uh can I see anything now? Like like I'm like I'm using a hint, right? It makes it easier because you're taking away letters and maybe see, you're able to you're able to see the next one easier. And then I'm just taking a minute to look and see if I see anything. If I don't see it, then it's like, okay, let's just use another hint because I, this is not enjoyable. <laughs> it's not enjoyable enjoyable to play when I have no idea what the theme is. Um, oh. Seaweed. Okay, so we're obviously going for some sort of a, a, a seafood thing. Crab and seaweed. Avocado, mayo, rice. Is there a cucumber here? There is, but I was trying to figure out if the sea over here was going to get sort of stuck. But it's not because... Uh, California, California roll. Okay. Why is that gingerly? What does ginger have to do with that? What? How is that supposed to? I I don't understand. I it's just something that I just don't know. So, yeah. No, these these ones are always tough. It's always tough to. Uh, in strands, it's either you understand the theme or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and today is one that I didn't understand, so this was tough. Um, once I got it, it was food. Okay, sure. So. Um, all right. I don't really have much to say other than, uh, no, this was not really fun for me to do. I didn't see the words. If I would have saw the words, maybe this would have been a little bit more enjoyable, but like, I totally missed avocado. You had California roll taking up like so many letters, it just cut right through the middle. Kind of mad. That also might have made this a little bit more tricky because the words were a little bit more lengthy or whatnot. I mean, I got rice. I guess I didn't get mayo though, did I? 
Okay. Well, I don't know. Nothing to say here. Not my greatest strands. Not really fun. Uh, tough one today. Tough set of games today. I will say that. But, you know, we got there. We finished. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Hopefully, I do better. Hopefully, they're more enjoyable to me. But uh, once again, we got a bunch of videos and stuff up on Patreon right now. A bunch of custom puzzles for you to solve. So go check that out. The support would really help me out. Uh, uh, appreciate you guys. Leave a like on the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.